Disclaimer, everything that is discussed, posted is strictly for educational and historical purposes only. It does not promote nor condone illegal activities. The Chosen Few's Grand Champion Siga, The Great DOY 2013, The Chosen Few CH Siga, I am a writer with a vivid imagination. I read things online, hear stories, read old magazines, books, tabloids, I am some kind of historian and fantasy writer. I take pictures and pieces of everyday people, stories, etc. I get my maximum inspiration when I smoke a fat blunt and a few shots of some real hardcore vodka. That can really get a good writer flying and having the best inspirations to write super fantasy stories. So, under this inspiration I write stories that sound amazing and even the smartest or most idiot may think they are the truth. However, they are 100% made up stories and should be handled as such. After all that, this is what a real writer does. Now, keep in mind that just because a man that writes about war stories and own guns does not make me a killer. So, here I go, enjoy my wonderful story. I'll write more soon. The central character of the story below will be a completely fictional character who I will name the chosen few. First of all I would like to thank God for this wonderful dog and the family of dogs we feed. This dog has been the result of a collaboration between the whole The Chosen Few crew as we all did something to get the parents to do the breeding to raise her. Andres and Mercia raised and helped campaign the incredible game dog CH Gasolina, an extremely explosive dog, just like her daughter. Gasolina's journey by itself was magical. Together we have overcome many hard obstacles. For her championship, she was in jail for three days. We had a hardship as we also were in jail in a foreign country. As the fiscal wanted her to leave the country, we sneaked her out and took her to the cornfields. While the news was still showing her on TV, she was dehydrated and underweight, yet she was there to do her deal. She put her best show, a cannon full of power, and a machine on the throat. She won in 18 minutes with a kill. Siga reminds me a lot like her mother. Champion Gasolina. She never gave up and that kept us motivated. We used to say she represents the most explosive dog we ever bred. In my opinion Sarge, Siga's sire, was one of, if not the best red boy dog of the last decade. With just a few breedings I can say wow, I wanted this dog so bad for a long time. I had owned his aunt, the sister to his mother, but I lost her and I was in pain. Even before her, I was a big fan of Mim's stuff, Sarge's grandfather. Back in the early 2000s I already bred Nasty, a daughter of CH Mechanic to him. That breeding produced some solid, little machines such as CH Stuffy, and his the deep game Mr. Bulldog, A2XW, 1XGL, so this Sega dog is the result of a long project as are most of our dogs. All planned for success, after we learned about those great haymaker dogs, we found out about the breeding that made Sarge, I always wanted one. Yet. With the witch hunt on my back and economic problems I put that to sleep. Until we found out about CH Major and his great qualities, I knew that was the right red boy combination, so I went after him. I found Sarge on a yard where he had close to zero future as a producer, we made the negotiations and it was on. He was destined to be bred to my top females, however, he needed some work to get him in the shape I like. The second gyp to come in heat as soon as we got him was Champion Gasolina. We made the breeding and six were born. Unfortunately, only four survived as Gasolina had bad milk. At the same time, another monster litter was whelped. A litter out of awesome Cricket and CH Mechanic. The pups were born only two days apart. Cricket ended up raising both litters, so in that one puppy pen we had several super dogs. One of them was Kruke, K, a mechanic buck, a 2XWBIS, who also killed his opponent the same night Sega made world history. During a puppy play, a crazy little red-nosed dog was scratched in the eye, and it looked really bad. I was upset, her little eye was clouded. We knew right away that she was going to be blind in that eye, but you could not tell the queen of the puppy pen that she had just one working eye. One day, I spoke with her and I said your name will be Siga. I know that the right Spanish spelling is Siga, using a C instead of an S, yet I had already pictured the name Grand Champion Siga in my head. I said what would I do if you'd lose that one good eye. You see, Siga means blind, yet I figured out that, if needed, she would go Siga blind and win anyway. She may end up being Siga the Great. I wanted her to earn the right to be called Siga the Great because greatness is earned, 
not given, so for now I just called her Sigida. At the age of eight months her bad eye had to be removed, as it was getting infected. A good veterinarian did a fine job. Schooling, Sigida was first checked at the age of one, she was a ball of fire already. It was just five minutes as she was always wide open, she knew how to finish a hog from the very start. She was an incredible prospect. We had some time later, one of our dogs was hooked but got sick, so we had to use Sigida as a replacement dog with a three weeks notice. We had to travel to another country to meet the opponent. The funny thing is that we were hooked blind, all we knew was the date and weight. On the day of the show we found out that we were going to meet a good friend, Rahl from Banzi, DF. Rahl had a great dog called Loba, known for her hard mouth. We both were in shock, it was an unexpected meeting, yet we were there for a show. Rahl said I do not want the chosen few to wait, I respect him too much. It's an honor to be with him in the box, I just wish it was under different circumstances. Anyway, I insisted to wait the dog, he did this with the most respect one can think of. Lobo was also a BIS dog, she had finished a few before. Siga vs Lobo 1XW, the show was brutal with Siga getting to the other dog's private parts right away. She scratched to her privates, hit a couple bleeders. A turn is called on Loba at 20, Siga is going wild in the corner and she's really hard to handle. As the sponge is thrown, she catches the sponge in the air and can't be taken away from her. She makes her scratch and screaming while holding the sponge. Loba takes a nasty hold on the face and gets inside the mouth of Siga, Loba doing a lot of damage to the inside of the mouth, but Siga manages to get loose and gets on the throat hard. Loba is picked up at 30 and runs a solid, hard courtesy scratch. Siga is screaming in the corner, another BIS is stolen from us in Mexico City. Yet as we won, I went and said to Rawl, here is the bet money. I do not want your money. We are friends and you are a gentleman. So after we won we gave him all the money earned. I am not sure who else would do that. Siga vs Monitas La Comcuit Rose, after only a few months, Siga is ready to go. We have to travel again, this time to one of the most unusual place. The show is to take place at the police station. It wasn't only uncomfortable, but we didn't know what was going to happen after the show. They're saying that they have a killer back end eater that will finish us quick, a bitch that was billed like a male. Anyway, despite this crazy situation Siga is screaming in the corner. Siga gets a scratch to the throat, she is pushing at will, jacking the dog in the air. Powerful as ever mean and explosive, screaming while in hold, sounding like the engine of an F1 on really high RPM. I am on the floor, Mata, 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 ah, Mata. Ah. Manita slays on the floor, and by 8 she lets go of he bowels, and gets stretched out. By 11 it's all over, and they're picking up cold dog. A one scratch show, Siga is acting like a crazy non-stop machine. She doesn't even want to get back in the crate. We did not even ask for our money. All we wanted was to leave as soon as possible. We were in a roller coaster of feelings, as it was an impressive show, yet we fear for our lives and freedom. We were back in the same position as we have been before. Where is dangerous and people can get killed easily. Yet we had a bulldog, we were as happy as one can be. Siga vs Dentista, the best show on the planet could not be complete without having one of the most talked of dog in the world, ch country a, k. I la dentista. It was very difficult to find a dog her weight, and we seeked all over the world. Everyone that had won were stuck on excuses of all kinds. There were two to time winners, and a champion that flat out backed down. It seemed as everyone was afraid of the monster they seen on videos. A couple kennels acted as if they had the courage, yet most were all giving us the run around. When it came to putting up the forfeit they all collapsed. As the weeks went by, I finally understood that it's not about the way, it's more about having the baddest dog around. Who might have this kind of dog? Who will have the courage to go into dentista? As the world finals, the biggest show in the history was taking shape, I told Piro that I want to see this monster in person. CH Dentista was not hooked yet and as time went by, I realized that I will have to go into CH Dentista if I want this to happen. Yet, my dogs were too young, so who was up for the challenge? Siga was in great shape, but she was just too small. She was 18 to 18.3 kilograms, not even close to 18.5 kilograms. Siga had another unusual disadvantage, she had a hole, the size of a nickel, 
and the roof of her mouth gotten from Loba. The people that saw it could not believe that she acts normal. Anyway, Denisto was open at 415 laws so I figured that I will have to go up. We contacted Piero to see if we can do it at 40. He said no way. After some negotiations we agreed at 18.8 kilograms. And it was on. It was crazy. My best performing dog in this weight class was still too small. And with hard physical handicaps. However we had to see Dentista with our eyes. A few minutes later Piero said I called it too soon. I got too excited and it can't go lower than 19 kilograms. It was just too much weight to push for the one-eyed ace, yet we said yes. Let's do it. I was crazy, yet I had to make it work. We started to work the other Jeps, yet Siga was the best candidate. We knew she was phenomenal. She had an amazing mouth. She was explosive, ferocious. A Tasmanian devil on nitro, I said. Nobody can touch this jip or even speak with her, only me. I had to prepare her for the show of her life. So, I started to put my keep on it, it was going to be the Bronx and Texas in one keep. I've put my heart in it, and with full dedication, I sculptured a little monster. She really has those awesome awesome butt jeans. We worked in the dark, we worked in the water, running, walking, Maquino Y Tunnel del Tempo, doing all we had to do, she was in the shape I wanted her to be. I knew she was powerful. But I was getting tired working all day to make the show happen, taking care of my fellow dogmen, the best guys on the planet. I was busy, and getting worn out. Showtime, I was happy to see mechanic Buck dismantle a black hog from the blacker bloodline. We respect the handler, yet the breeder was a hater, and to send him his dog back in a plastic bag was a pleasure. Yet mechanic Buck crushed him and I was happy about the win, the main event was yet to come. When we were at the scales, Pira asked me so, which dog are you bringing? I said the Siga dog, the small, dog with one eye. He asked me, yes sir, I said. We were under the contracted weight but ready to go. I said I just want to ask you a favor, I need to show her, let her see where she is, so I'll have to step in the middle and let her see your dog first, Piro said okay, no problem. From Kazakhstan to Bangkok, from Canada to Argentina, the whole world was there to see what was about to happen. The main talk was that Siga was going to be crushed, and the chosen few was crazy. But brave enough to do it, it was showtime, and it was all on the table. One could smell the adrenaline in the air. The world was there to see Dentist to win. We were the underdogs by miles. I felt that some of the guys did not want to tell me that they felt I was going to be smashed. I knew they respected me, but I also knew that nobody will put a penny on us. They were watching the videos of Dentist to destroying everything she went into. Siga had so many handicaps, and she was so small when compared side by side. The entire Caribbean and South America was betting against us. They respected us, but they just couldn't imagine how we could take on such a monster. The Caribbean and South America already saw this phenomenon in action. Everyone was waiting for the news, calling each other, asking if anyone has heard anything. Far away in the Caribbean, Dentista's fans were already celebrating, assuming that we lost the show before it even started. They were congratulating on the big win already. I was on the spot again, like I have been so many times before. I was confident as if I was going to conquer the world one more time, I knew the caliber of the dog I had. I knew it was a David versus Goliath situation, but in my mind, there was no way to lose, I was focused. Flashes of Bruno Boy scratching, Carmela Soprano, and Cheyenne screaming were going in my head. I was breathing victory, you could smell the victory on me. I knew Siga felt my confidence. We had a chat and the instructions were given. I had my war face on and so did Siga, I was already in battle mode. Al asked Piero earlier to allow me to walk to the center of the pit and show my dog where her opponent's was, as she only had one eye. Dentista in the corner, ready to go on, I enter the box second. I walk to the center and let Siga put her one eye on Dentista. She went berserk screaming in my arms as wild as her grandfather, C.H. Awesome Buckram. Perros de Frente, Swelton. Face your dogs, release, you couldn't blink. A hard, thunder-like sound was heard and there was blood gushing out of Siga's face, it was brutal. My words will never be enough to describe the show. Imagine a sponge full of blood smashed against a white wall. You cannot hear a word spoken, everyone was in shock. Dentista was at her very best. 
what has been seen in videos was nothing compared to what she did that day. She was truly at her very best, Piro was happy and encouraging dentista. I was on my knees, getting a bath of blood coming out of Siga's face, blood clogs were falling on the carpet. I was going nuts for her to get a single hold, it amazes me how, she did not lose any speed, any power. She was driving like a four-wheel drive Ferrari, one could see every muscle in her legs. All of her fur legs with her paws as if she had claws stuck in the carpet. Full power at all time, driving from wall to wall, trying to get a hold, pushing forward while her face was being destroyed. Siga still without a hold, but screaming. You could hear her jaws clapping every time she missed Dentista. Dentista still without a n y damage. By 8, Dentista gets a little slower, coming out of the corner, and finally, Siga gets in, and gets in deep, Dentista still holding on the face, but Siga doesn't slow down, she doesn't change as her plan to get in, and kill, I'm on the floor screaming to get in, dig mama, dig Siga, Lukaya. Once she got in, we both kicked into a higher gear. Show me what the Bronx is all about, Siga is screaming while in hold. Dentista still on the face, and Siga getting under her. Taking nasty shots, Siga lifts Dentista up in the air and dragging her from corner to corner. Toma, Toma, to ma punita, question est lo que somos, carajo. Siga, I gave you the keep of the gods, get in there, from the Bronx. From the Bronx, show me what the boogie down is all about. I was so in my zone, you can feel my energy, passing as fuel to her. She was responding to my speed, and intensity. I was just talking to her, at 20, we had changed the tables. I noticed that one of Siga's lips was stuck. I figured that with all that damage she was fanged from the inside, so I called the fang. The referee said granted. It was fanged indeed and it was ugly. The referee tried to unfang Siga but she was hard to control and going crazy screaming. So, I've put my fingers in her mouth carefully. I didn't want it to lose my index finger. One fang was off and I found the second fang also ganged in the inside. Once she was unfanged and released, she ran right under Dentista. At this time she flipped her over, and was on top, all her fur paws stuck in the carpet, while her mouth was wide open from the shoulder to the chest as an alligator. By 27 it was all Siga. She broke Dentista. I asked Piro to pick Dentista up as she was an amazing bitch. Piro said there is no way Siga can keep on this driving power for too long. He was wrong. And as he thought about it more and more he finally picked Dentista up at 33. Dentista made a dead game courtesy scratch, she got a well-deserved standing ovation. The world recognized her place in history. As every dogman come and said wow, Siga was screaming in the corner, acting the same way she entered but with a fully damaged face. It was hard to see if she still had any eyes left, I was concerned about Dentista. I said please, let's get together and work on the dogs. Dentista was demolished, Mustang Kennels and all the others went to help. As we were working on Dentista, we noticed that Piro was having some health problems. He was sick, and deep game as well, his face was pale with a greenish hue, and he was breathing abnormally. We all ran to care of him, it was a very scary moment. A great dogman and a great dog, both on the table. We gave him whiskey to warm him up and after some time, Piro finally got stable. As far as dentista, we tried all, but it proved to be an impossible task, the inner damage was just too much. We lost a great warrior, she was awarded GIS. Siga was awarded BIS what a show. Nothing anything like this ever happened, when did the whole world get together in one place and witnessed an encounter like this? When did you see a top dog such as dentista go into another monster like Siga? Never, the world never saw a dog with so many handicaps going into one of the top dogs in the world. This was the classic of the classics. As the song says it's not about the hits, it's about the classics, the chosen few. David vs Goliath. It was incredible to see how Siga took all the punishment. I've seen dogs jumping the wall with that kind of damage. In a previous show, La Dentista made a champion from Mexico looking for the exit in only 7 minutes. That champion from Sucio Negro Ordonas and Merchant had both legs over the walls. Dentista pulled it back in to get killed. Yet not this time. Siga was the ace of aces. I expected a super show. Yet this was too much. Too good to be true. Many people wonder what kind of odds were against Siga. How many have ever proved.
Their gameness like Sega did, it was by miles the best show ever witnessed, the whole world agrees. History was made, my breeding program, my keep, my experience was all on the table. If we lost, everyone would say, why in the world you take a one-eyed dog into a monster, if we win, we would make history, brave or an idiot. We had what it takes to overcome the handicaps, as Mr. Mauricio de los Rios, who has been in the sport for over 60 years said the best I ever seen we've been awarded both BIS awards, males and females. It was a dream come true, the world was there to see it. The decision on the BIS and GIS was agreed by all the players and referees. It was a great show, done with honesty, no thugs, no low lives, no money hustling gamblers. Money was not an issue here, it was all about the dogs, as the days. Past all we kept talking about was how great this was. Everyone wanted to express the joy they had. Within a few days, the letters started coming, with their proud versions of how they seen the best show. The world finals and the chosen few made history forever. How many killers never meet another killer? How many killers never had a chance to show they were super game? How many dogs can take what Sega took? How many dogs could take what she took and still keep that tail up high, and be so relentless to stay and win? Sega represents what we all dream to have in a dog and more. Why? Because when we dream on having a great dog that is as game, as powerful, as explosive with a real hard mouth we never dream of this. I also want my dog to have a missing eye, be smaller, have a permanent hole in the roof of her mouth and still win. That is why. Because she overcomes what we want as an ace dog, the end. Well I told you, you will read a super story that will make you think, is this really happened? Yet, it's just my imagination. I guess it's time for me to write a book. Siga is admired, loved and respected by everyone that's seen her. The best performing dog in the world by all counts. She top any dogs we have ever seen, alive in any country, or in videos of any area. She shown to be above the rest as a total 10 in all areas. For those who seen her, and those whose opinion is worth it, she is the best dog they have ever seen. She can win over any dog you can think or imagine, is that simple. Seen by people from 16 countries at once, and all agree based on her performance, ace of ace. The chosen few DOI, now this is a breeding program. Consistency at top level, thanks to all the great men that met us. For those who seen Gasolina, she is her clone in speed, power and gameness. Another awesome buck dog, on the TCF keep it will be hard to outpower this little girl. Now retire to breed future greatness, private stock as seen by the world, this is maybe, one of the best dogs to ever do it, we breed and campaign for GRCH females in a global way, never done by any other dogman dead or alive. 1 GRCH Cerebel BIS 2, GRCH Calendrina BIS, GIS, DOY 2010, 3, GRCH Copperhead BIS, T, OY 2011, 4, GRCH Sega The Great BIS DOY 2013. All from my private breeding program not available to the general public. We are the chosen few. Thank you. The best is yet to well, come. Well there you have it folks. The story of the chosen few's grand champion Sega The Great to XBIS DOY 2013 The Breed Standard.